Ellen. We be Ellen. Okay, Moni, so I, I went to the screening last night of All Eyes on Me here in Atlanta, Atlantic Station. So you were Demetrius saying- Ship Jr. was there. Uh, young Jeezy was there. Okay. So I introduced uh, the, the film. I introduced Young Jeezy. Young Jeezy introduced Demetrius. Demetrius introduces the film. I know, weird, right? Okay, but I saw the movie. <laughs> I'm like, what was all that nah, for? Nah, because Young Jeezy's a big Tupac fan. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I saw the movie, and I thought historically it was not correct, but it was still a good movie. And what bothers me about it is the people that don't really know Tupac, who don't know Tupac's life, is going to think, this is exactly how it happened. Demetrius Ship Jr. was absolutely marvelous as Tupac. Mm-hmm. Like, he totally embodied Tupac. Like, he studied his moves. He studied the way he talks, the walk, everything. Like, I felt like I was looking at Tupac. Like, okay. I really did. But historically, certain things were left out, and I'm really getting tired of women being left out of movies, especially when they've played a pivotal role in a movie or in someone's life. Okay. Like, when they did Ray... When they did the movie Ray, they didn't leave out Ray Charles's discretions with other women while mm-hmm. he was married. You know what's really interesting that you say that though, because I've seen a lot of really good movies, biopic movies, right, that where they don't leave stuff like that out. Like it was just two days, two nights ago, I watched for the fifty millionth time the Johnny Cash story, right. With Reese Witherspoon right. and, um, and his, Joaquin Phoenix. And his... his oh, my goodness. His, his discretions are crazy. all up in there. Right. Everything. And it was a stickling point in his relationship. Yeah. And, and and me watching All Eyes on Me, you leave out the fact that when he was really young and you guys were on the road, that you guys had a, a, a close friendship. Then you leave out that him and Yo-Yo, Yo-Yo had a relationship. Relationship. Immediately after right. we got off tour, that that was left out. Totally. Yeah, and they the, was like okay. for real, a real. A, they, you know this. Yeah. They were a hip hop couple. They were in a real relationship. Yeah, which I I felt should have been in there somehow, right. some way. And then another woman that was very pivotal in his life that was left out was the woman Keisha that Morris. Yes, that he married while he was in prison. Yeah, it was totally left out of the movie, and I didn't I I didn't understand. Why? Right. Like, there was other stuff that I saw that I was like, oh, well, y'all could have cut that down. But the Keisha Mars part was a big part of his life. Yeah, it, even made, though, even it if, made news. Right, it made news. Yeah. And it, even if you show, even if you show how it fell apart, how it, it wasn't good after, and how she felt about being left behind once he got out and got with and Death And the Row. fact that they stayed in touch. Right. And there were times when he came to the area or whatever, he would call her and ask her to come over. Yeah, all and, of that that yeah. stuff that stuff was left out. So, yeah. and it was a lot of stuff too about you know his. They didn't show Mo Prem in it. They did his relationship. Wait a was, minute! Wait a minute! Back up. Mo Prem is his brother. Exactly. Is his brother by marriage? Yes. Uh, he wasn't in it. No, Stretch is not in that at all. Stretch, Stretch was is, like butt Stretch and seat. from Naughty, <laughs> right? Okay. Stretch from Naughty by Nature is not in it at all. It's like okay. But you're going to show all of this death row part. But what about all the homies he had when he was basically living, breathing every day in New York? And you put well, this and you put this Nigel part in there so much, but you left out all the homies he had while he was here, while he was in New York and recording and doing all of this stuff. And you left out the whole Hughes Brothers stuff. What, what about Poetic a, Justice and the, no. the Hughes Brothers fight? The, the director brothers, said they had the fight with when he went with, to court, right? and he went to court, and he got convicted of that. That was and, like the first time we saw him in court, I think. Yeah, his first time when he when yeah. he had the altercation with the, the Hughes, Hughes brothers, brothers, and yeah. they subpoenaed your TV raps right. for the tape, and I put my hand over, over his, his mouth, mouth to keep him from talking. That's one of the most imp- one of the things that people remember my relationship with Tupac. About from covering his mouth. From yeah, covering his mouth when he came up to, to promote Juice, right? right? That wasn't in there. The whole Janet Jackson... The AIDS test the AIDS controversy. Test, not, that wasn't in it? No. Well, then, I, I got to admit, uh, Ed, um, no. listening to all of the things that ha- have been left out of the movie... <laughs> And, but it's I'm, still I'm, a good I'm, movie. That's, well, see, this, this is where I'm confused now because I'm confused. I'm a stickler for historic facts right. in, in a biopic, and I'm confused as to why am I going again now that I know that all of these things are missing? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it just, it, I'm just... 
from the point of me knowing how much of a part. Maybe it'll be better for the millennials because they don't know. Maybe because but they, they should they, know that Tupac was married. Yeah, you're right. It should have been if you're gonna do a movie on his life. How do you skip his one and only marriage? Right. He didn't marry anybody else. No matter how he felt about Kidada, he never got around to marrying Kidada. Right. No matter how much he he felt for Jada, him and Jada, they were never married. He married Keisha. How do you leave that out? It's a slap in the face to her, and and it's a slap in the face to to his story. Right. How do you leave out the fact that Michelle A was such a huge part of Dr. Dre's life when you did Straight Outta Compton? Yeah, and JJ Fad. Exactly. I'm not worrying about the dudes. I spoke to Stretch's brother Chris yesterday. He was like, "Yo, long as they ain't try to play my brother in the movie." I was like, "Your brother's not in the movie at all." He was like, "Well, that sucks, but long as they ain't try to play right. my brother." I'm good. But how do you leave out the woman that he married? Right. Tupac was only married one time. He had no children. He married one woman. That was Keisha. How do you totally leave her out of his story? It's impossible. It happened. But Demetrius Ship Jr. did a great job. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, he did. Okay. It's worth seeing him play Tupac. It's worth it. Yeah. Well. I'm telling you. All right. Seven minutes in front of the top of the hour, y'all, right here on the Ed Lover Show with Moni Love.